PQS is a triangle, X is on QS. So PQS is a triangle, X is on QS. So it's the ratio QX to uh, uh, XS is two to one. Y is on PS, such that the ratio PY to YS, PY to YS is one to three. R is the intersection of PX and QX. So PX and QX, this is point R here. And T is on the point so that QXST is a straight line. QXST is a straight line. The vector PQ is P and the vector PS is Q. Find the vector QS, uh, QY and PY. We'll look at this bit in a minute. Okay, so using the diagram, let's just annotate the diagram. So this is the ratio of two to one. This is the ratio of one to three. This is the vector P, and this is the vector Q. QS, QS is like going QP plus QPS. So that's going to be minus P plus Q. Normally, we would write that as Q minus P. We swap these two over, taking the sign. B, QY. So this line here is like going QP plus PY. So that's going to be going against the arrow of P, so it's minus P, and then one, fur, uh, one quarter of the way along P. S and PS is Q, so that will be minus P plus a quarter of Q. We will write that now as a quarter Q minus P. C, PX is PQ, so we're going from P to X. Okay, so we're going to go PQ plus QX. So PQ is P. Now QX is two thirds of the way along. QS, so that's going to be P plus two thirds of my answer for part A. So we'll put that two thirds in brackets, we expand the brackets like normal algebra. So that's P plus two thirds minus two thirds P. Now P minus two thirds is one third, so we get one third P plus two thirds of Q. P has the coordinates to one. PR has, is one third of PX, and PR is four, two, and XT is six minus nine. We've got to find the coordinates of the point T. So PR is one third of PX, which means that PX is one for, uh, three times PR. So we've got PR here to work out three times that vector. So it's three times four, which is 12, and three times two, which is six. Right, we need to find OT, so we need to go from O to T, so we can do this by going this route, O to P, P to X, which I now have, and then X to T, which I'm also given in the question. So OT will be OP, PX, and XT. Now we know OP because we've got the coordinates of P, which is 2, 1, so that as a vector, OP will be 2, 1. So we're going to do 2, 1 plus px, which is 4, sorry, 12, 6, plus xt, which is given in the question 6 minus 9. 2 plus 12 plus 6 will make 20, and then 1 plus 6 minus 9, that's 7 minus 9, which will make minus 2. So the coordinates of t are 20 minus 2. So the coordinates of this point here are 20 minus 2. So this has been a video to show you how to find the coordinates of a point using vectors. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.